you know that on average Canadians watch 26 hours of television per week? Have you ever thought about how much of this time you spend watching TV ads? An estimated 38 commercials air every minute across national TV, and the average viewer spends about 15 minutes out of every hour just watching ads. Television networks make most of its revenue from advertisers. In fact, the primary goal of television networks is to sell airtime for advertising. Did you know that each member of your family is being advertised to in a unique way? This is because we all make up a different part of the population, which advertisers target their messages and products to. Because audience power is produced, sold, purchased, and consumed, it commands a price and therefore is a commodity. This is known as the audience commodity. You might ask, in what ways does television aim to make viewers also consumers? What techniques are used and are they successful? In order to target audiences, advertisers and TV producers will use narrowcasting as a way to define audience characteristics. Narrowcasting is successful because it offers a more defined set of characteristics than most network programming. These segments are typically defined by demographics and psychographics. Demographics refers to statistical data relating to the population, such as age, race, gender, ethnicity, religion, and economic status, while psychographics refers to the classification of people within these demographic groups, such as their attitudes, lifestyle, values, and interests. This information is crucial for television broadcasters and advertisers because they need to provide the right television programs and commercials to the right audiences. Commercial spots are the most popular form of television advertising. Advertising agencies pair with networks to promote products and campaigns to targeted audiences. The NFL Sports Network aired a commercial promoting the Hyundai Genesis, targeting a demographic of males. This commercial was aired throughout the 2016 NFL Super Bowl with over 111 television viewers. Oh, you look good. Thank you. Hey! See the guy taking my little girl out, huh? Yep. Huh. You know what, why don't you go ahead and take my new car? Thanks, Pops. Go ahead, baby. <laughs> Car Finder on the Hyundai Genesis. Back so soon? Here you go, sir. Because a dad's got to do what a dad's got to do. Honey, what'd you guys do tonight? Infomercials are another way in which television will incorporate advertising. Infomercials try to inform viewers on the product being advertised while making it entertaining and relatable. I'm sure most of you have watched this clip before. It is one of the most popular infomercials that have ever been aired on Lifestyle Networks. Home shopping channels are another way in which television offers advertising to viewers. Home shopping channels are different than any other form of advertising as they enable direct purchasing. These programs often sell products on air with the intention of persuading viewers to purchase them. The leading example in Canada is The Shopping Channel, also known as TSC, that sells hundreds of branded products on air. Product integration is another popular form of television advertising, in which sponsors pay networks to have their products featured on specific programs. The Big Bang Theory uses product integration throughout the series in various ways, especially by including a product as part of the episode's storyline. According to the Business Insider, The Big Bang Theory is the most watched primetime television show among viewers of various income levels. Therefore, The Big Bang Theory is a prime candidate for product integration due to its wide reach of viewers. So, Siri, <laughs> what's happening? How are you? I am well. What are you doing right now? What am I doing? I'm talking with you. You have a beautiful voice. Thank you. It's nice to be appreciated. I bet it is. 
Alright, how's this for revenge? A solution of hydrogen peroxide and one of saturated potassium iodide. What's this? Mountain Dew. <laughs> refreshing. In today's digital age, we must understand and recognize how streaming services have changed the classic models of advertising. According to Fortune.com, Netflix has claimed a major symbolic victory over the biggest cable providers in the United States, with more subscribers than the number of viewers for the largest cable company. So what does this mean? Netflix does not follow the traditional model of selling audiences to advertisers. Instead, Netflix and other streaming services are funded by the users who want to access the service ad-free. This has completely changed the industry, and viewers seem to be liking this change. So next time you watch television, be critical and aware of the ways in which you are being advertised. Because remember, you're not only a viewer, but also a commodity.